I'm terribly sorry, but I can't hear what you're saying. Liz, could you possibly put your microphone on? Thank you very much. Sorry about that. Thank you. Could I just say that this... Although it's a public meeting held in public, it doesn't allow members of the public to interrupt proceedings. It wasn't me who interrupted, sorry. Sorry, you were looking at me when you were talking. Yeah. Sorry, it's just, it's yeah. it's it's sorry, sorry, you were looking at me when you were saying that rather than oh, head. That was why I was confused. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, if you can't hear what's going on, you yeah. must say. Terribly sorry. So this report and this is to firstly is to update on progress of the development of the outline business case, which is for collaboration and delivery of late corporate services for Mesa Police, the Fire Rescue Authority and the Office of the Police Fire Commissioner. The recommendation of the report is that members approve the engagement of consultants to work with officers to produce the outline business case and suitable operational models for the corporate service uh, collaboration. If I can bring members' attention to paragraph 6, the, uh, this is on page 10, really just to make the point that the, the driver here primarily is that both Mesa Police, Mesa Fire Rescue Authority face fairly severe and fi uh, financial challenges on the remainder of the parliament. Ultimately, that is the driver here. We have to make savings. Clearly, the, uh, the overriding objective here is that we try and uh, minimise the impact on our operational response capabilities so to drive as much, uh, as much savings as we can from collaboration. So, appreciate that statement, the obvious there, but that is the, that's, that's the primary driver here. The, um, Paragraph 9 makes the point that uh, the, we recognise that to, uh, to 
pursue the, the outline, to develop the outline business case and the, to pursue that to its, its conclusion. That's not a particularly easy undertaking for us. Uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be challenging in, uh, in, in in the extreme to do that. So we recognise that to engage an external consultant is likely to be the most effective way for us to uh, to work through that. We have a an, uh, an inv invitation to tender has been drafted. That's. Uh, that sets out what it is that we require from the uh, from the piece of work that we would be asking the consultants to do. The areas that are in scope are listed at the bullet points at the top of page 11. There is a full copy of the uh, the invitation to tender at uh, appendix one, but the uh, just to um, just to set out sort of the key deadlines for members is the. Uh, the publication of the invitation to tender was on the 11th of May. The 18th of May, officers hosted the supplier opening day. There was eight uh, interested suppliers there. The deadline for the bids to be received is Friday, which is uh, the 10th of June. And then on the 22nd and the 23rd, we have interviews scheduled, which will be led by the Deputy Chief Fire Officer and the Minister Police Director resources in order to identify the, uh, the suppliers that we would like to use again clearly assuming that uh, the committee supports us proceeding in that way for the reasons that were last time for us to, uh, to pursue the outline business case. Uh, pause at that point here yeah, and uh, take any questions if there are any. Thanks, Chair. The purpose of this report is to update members on the service delivery projects, uh, which are, I'll speak to which areas they are in a second, which to be clear, but very simplistic differentiation. The report that we've just considered is the corporate services. This is very much the, the operational delivery work. So 
this does not require us to uh, seek any external assistance. These are the things that we're actually getting on with doing as, uh, as day to day operational business. Paragraph 5 at the bottom of page 49, that lists the areas that this covers. In simple terms, you have operational preparedness, so within that, operational planning, joint capabilities and procedures, and joint training delivery, community risk management, which in simplistic fire rescue terms we refer to as prevention, protection, and indeed road safety, all the office that there, and then shared estate and co location. Operational planning update is listed in paragraph 6 through 8. The joint capabilities and procedures is 9 through 11. Train and delivery 12 through to uh, 14. Community risk management is 15 through 17. And then shared estates is paragraph 18. And what I would suggest, Sharers, is because we have Helen and John are with us today, who will be able to give a bit far more detail of required things in the report rather than me just. Uh, refer back to one of our fairly concise summaries if I, uh, if I pause at that point and suggest if there are any questions, John and Helen are probably the uh, best place to pick them up. Any questions? John, Helen, do you want to add anything? I think very much that we obviously provided a lot of time and there's an opportunity assessment and gave no view of the presentation. The, the stage that we are doing now is just taking that more detail as opposed to No, nothing's much, yeah. Unless you've only got